All right, we are back. It is another nasty day in D.C., and we are talking all about how to sight in pretty much any slider-style sight. <clears throat> so if you're watching this, you are probably getting ready for deer season. You've probably waited a little too long, and you need like a no-nonsense way on how to sight in a sight. That's what we're going to cover. Got my bow here. For me, I have a black gold dual track sight on this. Um, this works for any slider sight, single pin, multi pin, whatever. I'm going to show you the quick, down and dirty, no BS way to do it. Let's get into it. Ready? All right, so we're out here on the home range. I have a Bowtech SR350 here. Uh, this is my deer hunting rig right now. And on it, I have a black gold dual track sight. So this is specifically gonna be for that, but this works for any slider bow. Does not matter if it's a dual track, three pin, five pin, whatever. If the head moves, this will work for you. And we're just gonna go through the easiest, most efficient way to sight one of these in. So first and foremost, I have taken this sight. I have got the first, second, and third axis set up. The first, second, and third axis are dialed on this. Everything's perfect. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna move the sight all the way up to its highest position. Once you're there, I like to start shooting at about five yards, work your way back to know that you're gonna hit the target, but get to 20 yards. And it's really, really important to get it absolutely perfectly dialed at 20 yards. Do not rush this step. All right, so once you're at 20 yards, you're gonna shoot and make sure that the sight is absolutely perfect. I even like to put a piece of paper on target and take a level and make an absolutely perfect horizontal line on the target and just shoot until you are absolutely smashing the line at 20 yards. Now look, if you are not a person that is super accurate with your bow, you know, maybe a little above, a little below the line is fine. If you're a guy that shoots a lot, guy or girl or whatever that shoots a lot, and you're, you know, very accurate at 20 yards, make sure that you are hitting that line absolutely dead on. A lot of people will rush this step and will just try to get back to further distances, and that actually makes it less accurate. 20 yards is critical here. So get dialed in at 20. On these black gold sights, I'm able to micro adjust them and it works perfectly. Now it's important to note that while I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on my vertical adjustment. I'm not worried about my horizontal adjustment. Uh, when I tune the bow, you know, when I set the bow up, I, I know where my sight likes to be. I like to have the sight just like a little bit left of the string. So the pin is, is sitting about halfway past the string point for me. That's generally fine. If I have to move it later, I will but I'm really focused on that vertical adjustment right now. So get it smashing at 20. Once you're on at 20, and these black old sights are great because you can just make little micro adjustments to them. Uh, it's also, it's kind of silly, but I love that the direction is noted on here because sometimes you're in the middle of it and you just don't remember. Now once your 20 yard pin is dialed, I mean dialed spot on to that 20 yard line or little tiny, you know, penny dime size target that you're shooting, I'm then gonna use the top pin. This is very important. Use the top pin and walk back. You know, on my, on this dual track, for example, I have 20 and 30 set up. On some of my three pin sliders, 20, 30, 40, use the top pin. What we're trying to do is we're figuring out the drop of the arrow, okay? So what we'll do is I will just kind of walk back to 30, 40, 50, and I'll just move that top pin down. I'm not focused on getting it super precise. I just want to make sure that it's on target so I'm not losing arrows. Once you have gotten it to where it's on target and you know you're good, I get to 60 yards because that's pretty much the maximum range I can shoot here in my backyard safely. And I'll put a one inch by one inch square of painter's tape or two by two. I'm not super precise, but I get a tiny target for 60 yards and I put it on my on the face of the target and I will again spend the amount of time I took at 20 getting absolutely perfectly dialed at 60 yards now when we were sighting in at 20 yards we didn't move the sight housing we don't touch that wheel 
or just leaving the head and moving the head around. At 60 yards, and while we walk back 30, 40, 50, whatever, we're, we're moving, we're moving the actual wheel, we're moving the actual head back, right? So you're moving it down, moving it down, using the top pen 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and we're gonna make minute adjustments until it's spot on. Once you have that perfectly marked, I will mark that with a pencil. Okay, so I know where 20 is. I marked that little red yardage indicator with a pencil. Now we're marking 60 yards with a pencil. Once you have that done, you now have a pencil mark for 20 and 60 for your top pin. Now on these dual tracks, for example, they have multiple pin indicators. I just use the top one. It's really important that you just know where the individual mark is for 20 yards and 60 yards. From there, you take your sight tape booklet out do not pay any attention to the feet per second that it says on the top of the sight tape and just find one that matches your 20 mark and your 60 mark. From there, take it off, put it on, and you're good to go. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them below. Happy shooting, happy hunting. You will never have a sight tape more dialed than this one. Congratulations. We'll see you soon.